Hello, everybody. This is Eddie Sand, your optimistic marketer. Happy Tuesday. Good morning, everybody. And today I'm going to share with you why you need a click here button on your video post. And I'm going to show you how to do it. That's coming up next. All right, everybody, let's get on. Let's get on with it. So first of all, thank you so much for being here with me live and also for the recording that you're watching. This is if you're watching the recording, I appreciate you taking the time because again, this is the information you need to take advantage of this virtual wave, this virtual marketing wave. And it's a big movement. It's a big marketing shift happening where you need to take advantage of it. This is how your business will become the go-to business or you can become the go-to person in your industry. And I'm going to show you every single week, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 a.m. Pacific. I'll be here live showing you the techniques and some marketing ideas that you can get started with today. All right. So let's uh, let's get on with this. OK, so uh, first of all, by the way, um, I think yesterday I should have told you guys if this is your first time again, welcome. And in case you're noticing me looking down, it's because. I'm going into multiple places simultaneously. So I've got my phones that are going to Instagram, for example, and then I've got you guys here on Facebook Live. So everybody else who you are in a different channel besides Facebook Live, if you want to see the behind the scenes, which today is one of those days, I'm going to show you how to actually add this click here button to your post. Then if you want to see how it work, how it works and how to do it, go and visit my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash optimistic marketer. That's how you get there. All right. So again, that's why you probably see my eyes going down here because this is where my phones are. And of course, this is where you are. Facebook live. Cool beans. Let's get started. So I prepared my coffee already because I, I need to get this message across as quickly as possible. <laughs> my goal uh, for this week is to give you a 20 minute or less class, less content, a 20 minute or less content. Does that sound right? I don't know. What I'm saying is I want to take a little bit less than 20 minutes so that you can go on your way to get this thing started. Okay. Give you some information and go take action on it. But as you can notice, I need some energy. So I'm going to drink my coffee. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Mm -mm. I love my coffee. Coffee's good. Coffee's good. Yeah, that's how it all started, by the way. Uh, if you don't know this yet, I had a show, Coffee with Eddie. Uh, back in the days, that's what I used to do. Just come with my coffee, drink, and speak with you, and show you, teach you, train you, all that good stuff. Uh, I did it for about two years, and then I was challenged to do something new, especially in our situation globally going on. And I took, I stepped up, and now I'm showing up. For the past three months, basically, I'm here to give you the marketing ideas, the virtual marketing ideas that you need to expand your business online and use social media marketing right now. And so the coffee stay with me. <laughs> it's just a habit. You know, I, I know that my coffee comes right when I go live here with you guys. Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, if I happen not to see your post right now, it's probably because I'm going to be sharing my screen. So let's get to it. Okay. Let me show you something. All right. The click here now. Um, the reason why you want to have a button on your post, especially, especially if you're going out live, you're doing live videos is for two reasons. Really, you're going to want to test the market. You got to test. You got to see what people are liking, not liking, but you're also going to start building an audience. All right. That's an opportunity for you to do that. So you're going to test what topic, what, what, um, what topic, what areas, what information is capturing your audience attention. And then at the same time, you can go in there and start building an audience. And I'll show you that in just a moment behind the scenes here. I'm going to show you on the screen again, if you're just showing up right now and you're not, not sure how to actually see my screen, just go to Facebook live, go to facebook.com forward slash forward slash optimistic marketer, and you'll be able to see what I'm about to show you. All right. So anyway, point is that this is why you want to do it. Now click here button 
it can, you don't want to do it on every single one. However, there is no reason why you shouldn't. Like, I mean, you can test it all out, but there's def different options too. As, as a matter of fact, I'll show you in a moment too that you can even have people sending you message, engaging with you using your business WhatsApp. Okay, so with the WhatsApp app, the business one. Did you know there was a business one? Ah, if you didn't know, now you do. So anyway, so you want to do that. Um, there, there, there are other options on other platforms, but like I told you before, you want to start with Facebook first because you're going to get a lot of data from it. All right. Um, oh, and by the way, the click here button, when you put it in there, you, you, you basically are going to be practicing how to boost your post. Uh, but again, remember, it's always about this path, right? The digital marketing path, you want people to know you, like you, trust you, and finally, that's when you offer. So it's a, it's a process. I don't want you to think that you're just going to create a video that's going to start pitching people and trying to sell them everything you have. Don't do that because it's going to fail even if you start playing with the ads and advertising and boosting. You know, you, you just got to you gotta understand branding, your personal brand and your business brand. You got to keep it, maintain it, and grow that and and, and just don't mess up on, on, on offering a bunch of stuff. And then all of a sudden you become a spammer and people won't even come back and watch you. All right. So let's get to it. Uh, again, if you're in any other channel besides Facebook live, I'm about to go and show everybody how to get this done. So here we go. All right. So I'm right now on my Facebook page, the Facebook page that I use again, optimistic marketer. That's how you'll find me on Facebook. And I'm going to choose this video right here. And what I'm going to do is if I just wanted a, a button on this, I can do it easily just from this right here by clicking boost, uh, boost posts. And then right over here on the left, it says, get more people to watch your video. Of course, that's exactly what I want, but you got other options. You notice here, there's more options. You can have a reach people likely to buy from you and track sales. Again, that's what I told you. I don't want you to get so caught up and see that and, and think, oh my goodness, let's go for this. Not yet. If you're just starting out with your live videos and you start and you're getting some content, but you're still not sure, you're not getting some uh, a lot of feedback, you're probably in the like phase. Uh, you still haven't reached the trust phase yet. Okay. Maybe you're just starting out and obviously you'll, you'll be in the knowing phase, right? They still need to get to know you better. Either way, Get more people to watch your videos, usually your best bet as of right now. Now you see the bottom one right here on the third one, it says connect and chat with potential customers. This is the other option. And you may want to ask actually right now, you're probably asking, why is it that you have three options and either one of these options, it gives you the ability to put a button. Well, if you notice, I switched to reach people likely to buy and my buttons just changed. My options are now shop now. And in a moment, once this comes up back again, of course, when I'm sharing, it takes a little bit longer, but basically when it says shop now, it's going to give you some other options. It's not coming up right away. Uh, if you go to connect and chat, then, uh, see now it's stuck. Great. This is what happens when you go and do this things live, you know, here we go. My goodness. Page unresponsive. Great, 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 great. All right. So what do we do here? Let's close it. How about that? Nope. It's not working yet. All right. Here, let me, uh, let me stop sharing for right now. Let me stop sharing. Maybe that'll make it work. Uh, no, no, not making it work. Come on, Facebook. Not right now. Come on, come on. Get with it. Okay, let's do this. All right, exit page. Oh, oh snap, something went wrong while displaying this page. Of course, oh snap. All right, let's go for it. Let's see if it'll open it now. Okay, here we go. Back at it again. Let me get back to that video where I was and be patient here with me so I can get this information to you. So come on, come on. Technology. 
Technology, technology. All right, let's give it a shot. Let me go ahead and share now again. Here I am. This is the post. Click on boost post. Okay, that comes up and the other all the other options come up as well. Every option that you choose switches your uh, options of the buttons down here at the bottom. I'm not going to switch it now because something happened, so I'm just going to leave it like it is. Um, also, another thing that you want to know, by the way, when you see rich people likely to buy from you, uh, what's going to happen is that Facebook is going to spend your money very quick. They're going to require you to actually spend more money to get people that are going to likely buy from you. So again, that's the reason why you don't want to just do this right away unless you have everything set. Basically, a whole process, a whole virtual marketing process. That's what I call it. That is all set, including a Facebook landing page, your email autoresponder and your offer. Once you have all that, then this is the button that you want to use. Otherwise just go with people that want to, uh, that need to watch more of your videos, more people that want to watch your videos. All right. So how do you do the button thing? So here we go here. I told you about the WhatsApp message. There it is. You can uh, put a send a message and I have it set to where it comes to my business WhatsApp um, app and that's how I manage it. However, you can choose to get messages through Facebook Messenger. You can have directions, sign up, learn more, book now, shop now. However, the one that you want to use here, if you're going to use any link, I highly recommend take them immediately to your opt-in page already. Whatever your offer is right now, which by the way, it should be a more content, more valuable content at no cost basically, so they can continually trust you and engage with you. So I would say learn more. Yeah, that's the that's the easy one, the best one to do. Now notice what it does is it puts immediately my web page. It will do the same if you're using the same web page on your Facebook business page. However, many of you may have different offers, right? Or maybe a download, maybe a shipment, something that at no cost to the person they'll get. Uh, but in exchange, you want their name and email or address or phone number, whatever it is that you require. So you can put that there. After that, remember I told you also about the audience, right? The two, the two reasons why you want to have a click here button. Uh, and it's to test and it's to build an audience, start building audience. So what are you going to test? Well, you're testing your offer, right? So put the different type of offers that you may have. Uh, and it may be the same offer, but different pages, web pages. You put that there and see what people do. Also, you're going to be testing your video content, the content that you're talking about in this video. Is it good enough for them to click that learn more button? And then the other thing is your audience. This is how you build it. Uh, basically here, I have many that I done through the past. You can create a new audience right here. Once that comes up, you can call it whatever you want, whatever. There you go. All right. So whatever you want, and you can start choosing now, if you are familiar with your marketplace, start choosing the age, the gender, which I will always pick all unless actually I shouldn't say you should always pick all. Pick what your market, who your market is. If it's all women, then obviously just women, men, just men. Myself, I always go with all because it gives me more information. I, I like to see who really is being not only targeted, but also responding to this uh, videos. Um, location, you can do United States or you can do your address of your local business. This is where you can add a location there. It's more most helpful if you're a local business owner because you'll reach within a radius the people in your community. All right, but if you are basically an online business, an online company, then of course you want to use United States. And include here, this is your demographics and also infographics. What I like to do all the time is just test one thing at a time. So you can start testing something that deals with your industry and put it there. All right. Just choose whatever it is, if it's a behavior or if it's an interest engine that just added there. Once you have that done, you click save and that's going to save it to your list of audiences, which you will learn so much from. After that, just go down here and all of a sudden it comes up to how much you want to spend. 
which by the way, you can spend whatever really, but it tells you right here, it'll say the estimated reach. So if you spend a dollar a day, it'll estimate a certain amount. And let me show you something. Notice right here, it says 170 to 500 people per day. But if I change my audience, check this out. If I change my audience, all right, uh, let's do this one here. Now it went up 210 to 600. Um, and I have some other ones also like right here. Let's see. Look at that. Oh, it went down 180 to 520. But you see what I'm saying? You start testing different things. So you want to get the most based on the content of your video, right? That's what you want to focus on in, in relation, uh, focus on the audience and the behavior or interest in relation to the content that you just gave on your video. Once you have that, pick a number. I say usually go four or five dollars and do it for about a week, one dollar a day. That should be a good enough test to find out who's actually watching your information and who's clicking the learn more button too, right? Once you do that, just go ahead and click boost. Oh, one last thing here. You see down here where it says the tracking conversion, the Facebook pixel. Okay, you need to make sure you have that Facebook pixel. I've talked about that last week and I may go over it again this week, but you guys let me know if that is something that you're interested in finding out how to set it up because you can always go back and watch last week. I believe on last week on Tuesday, I did the pixel thing. So go check that video out. All right, and that's it. And then once you click boost, it'll go and you're all set. That's how it goes, guys. So um, yeah, pretty cool, simple, right? That is how you get this click here button, learn more button, don't use buy now, okay? Just basically learn more, start with that one, put the link of your page, hopefully you have a pixel code on your page from Facebook already, and that's gonna track who's visiting, you're also gonna see who's clicking, and you're also going to get the data of who's watching your content, how many people, what's go where they're at, their demographics basically, and also psychographics, what are their interests? Make sense? All right, I know I gave you a lot today. Take it, use it, put it to practice. And you know what? I, I, did, I did tell you that there is, um, this comes from a virtual marketing process that you should have, that I actually have something that I've done already for the past three months. I've practically condensed it into a blueprint. You can go and download that. Just go to my website. You'll see it there, eddysand.com. You'll find it there. And it looks something like this. I have the paper here. See that? All right. So I basically go over this, but there's, there's, uh, let me see. There's three steps. And within each step, there's a few things that I practically give you access to at no cost. So you can download it, uh, get access to it, and then download it and watch the videos in relation to each part of what you need to learn more about and then put those things into practice. That's a whole marketing strategy process that you can have right now. Put it into your process, see what you need, and then take action with it. It's all for you. All right. Awesome, guys. Well, thank you again for being here and watching this information. I appreciate that. And thank you again if you're watching the recording. Again, Eddie Sand, your optimistic marketer. I'll be here every single week, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 a.m. Pacific, with this virtual marketing Facebook Live edition. It is all about getting more eyes on your business through this opportunity. This, there's a marketing shift happening in the social media right now. And there's a wave of virtual marketing opportunity that you need to dive in, get on board, because when the wave crashes, settles, and everything's settled, basically, which I don't know how, long, how much longer we're gonna go for, but when things are settled, you will be the go-to person in your industry or the go-to business in your industry. And that, my friends, is how you will succeed in 2020. I will talk to you later. Again, stay cool, stay calm, keep a sound mind. Peace. Thanks, everybody. Later.